The business of entertainment has always been about content. In entertainment, content is king. Rahul and I had been doing work for the last 10 years with the entertainment industry. We worked with some great people at the major publishing houses, major record labels, and, and the major studios, thinking about how technology is changing their business. How does technology change how you set prices or how you promote content? How does piracy impact your business? And while we were asking those questions, we started to ask a bigger question, which is, is technology changing the nature of power in these, in these industries? There is more content being produced, more variety of content being produced, more diversity of content being produced, and I would say even more quality of content being produced. And think about it, all of this is facilitated essentially by the technology platforms. The Googles, the Netflix, the Spotify of the world have essentially made it easier, you know, change the way we produce the content and we distribute the content and naturally that affects the consumers. How is Netflix able to do that What the television networks are not able to do it? And one of the biggest advantage that the Netflix has is that it has this huge consumer data so they can exactly figure out and predict how many people like Kevin Spacey, how many people like David Fincher, how many people like political drama. And they can even combine all of that to get a pretty good idea about whether the show is likely to be successful or not. The example that comes to mind immediately is the first 90 seconds of the first episode of House of Cards. In the first 90 seconds, Kevin Spacey strangles his neighbor's injured dog. And what the data tell you is that when that happens, a whole bunch of people tune out. In the traditional television industry, this would be a very bad sign that people were tuning out. You're losing advertising dollars, you're losing your audience, you probably want to cut that scene. And in fact, industry veterans suggested that Bo Willeman and David Fincher cut that scene because they were going to lose half their audience. Those guys looked at that and said, yeah, we like the scene, we're going to keep it in. So one of the points of tension is, why did that scene work for Netflix when it wouldn't have worked on broadcast? The reason in the book, we argue, is that Netflix is pursuing a fundamentally different business model. They aren't advertising driven. They don't have scarcity in the 8 p.m. time slot. So the people who tuned out of House of Cards probably watched something else on Netflix, and that's okay. The point for the audience, though, is that that gave the creators more creative freedom than they would have experienced in the existing channels and allow them to include a very powerful scene creatively in the content, even though the data on one hand said it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. It matters because we all want to get great stories and we all want to be able to consume stories from great storytellers. And when you connect great storytellers with exactly the right audience, everybody wins.